Hi, 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 felting fans, it's Jules. Today we're gonna make a needle felted Yorkie. I've never made a Yorkie before, so I'm very excited. This channel is all about my needle felting journey. I try to do projects online so I can um, show you kind of what I'm doing and figuring out, but if you have tips or feedback or ways that you know that are better, please let me know. I am open and I would love to hear from you. So let's get started. Now, I'm gonna bring this giant ball of core wool and pull a bunch of core wool off. And I think instead of making an armature today, I'm going to start with a body and try something new. So I'm gonna roll it like this. So I'm gonna stab this together and make the body first. And I'm gonna stab it till it's fairly solid. And I think it's gonna be small. It's supposed to be an ornament, so. Okay, it's very squishy. See how it's just not very solid feeling? Not very solid. I think I need to keep really poking away at this to have a more solid core for our Yorkie. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make the head now. And I think the head, I just want it to be like a round ball. So maybe I didn't make it tight enough. So I'm gonna make a tight, much tighter ball for the head. Make a really tight ball like this. And then I'll stab. Okay, so to put the head on, I'm gonna take some other wool, stretch it out, and kind of do like, put a little neck like this. Cut a little neck maybe. I think I'm gonna switch to better needles as well. I have these needles from Felt Alive that I love. I think we're gonna use these instead. That'll make a difference too. All right, so I'm just wrapping the neck around like this to give me something to felt the ball onto. And I think you just need more, you know, just need to keep adding. Make the ball like this. Okay, there we go. Something like that. All right, well, let me keep stabbing and then I will turn the video back on and show you the progress. Okay, what I'm gonna do is pull out my needle felting machine and put on some thumb guards, finger guards, because when it gets you, it's very painful. And I think this will just speed up the process a little and help make this dog a little firmer, more firm. So the needle felting machine just does the same thing I was doing, but a lot faster. You can see I can shape the muzzle this way too. Try to get the core body a little tighter. Okay, so I like that. I think that's kind of cute. We're gonna make him sit like this with his little legs out front. But I think first we need to add the eyeballs. So I'm gonna get my eyeball. Yeah. Look at this. His eyes are pretty big compared to his head. So I have a couple different size eyeballs. Let's see, does this look right? Size eyeball for the head. That's cute. That's cute. Should put them like right there. Eyeball. 
and the nose will do much later. But for now, I like that. So I'll add glue. Now I've messed it up because I can't find the little hole that I made and I don't want to stick that all in there now that it's full of glue. Okay, well, crap, lesson learned. <laughs> this one I'm going to do this way, like this. I'm not going to take it out before I put the glue on. There you go. It's probably too much glue. What do I do about this other guy? Okay, I'm gonna have to stick the all in there again. Ugh. Dang it. Is that enough glue, we think, to get that to stick? We need a little bit more glue. This is more about glue than you wanted to learn, I bet. Okay. Well, there's the eyeballs. We'll let that dry. Okay, so I've pulled out a whole bunch of wool. Gray wool, this tan wool, some black. This one is cool because it has a bunch of multicolors in it, which kind of look like the dog's head, so that could be useful. Um, a little complementary color to the tan and then a different kind of black. Maybe it's the same. I think this one's smoother. Anyway, um, so you know what I need probably this is probably good this rough black I'm gonna use the rough black to kind of start the body to see how coarse it is that will stick to this guy's body easily so I'm gonna start first just to cover him with the black and then once the core wool is all covered up then I'll be able to do more fur stuff. And I think I'm gonna do the legs separately and then stick them on last. That is not something I've ever done, but it is something I want to try. The body is black, but it's also, he looks like an older Yorkie, so I think it's not gonna be completely black. I'm gonna have to figure that out, but this will be like the base color. Between the eyes is definitely dark, darker. Hmm. Hmm. Thinking if we start with a black face, we can just, we'll make the whole body black. I think the whole thing, and then we'll add fur afterwards to add the color. That's what I think. I just don't want to see any core wool. All right, so I got this kind of carded tan colored wool and I decided to make the nose a little bit more tan and also put tan over the eyes. I like to do this, put wool over the eyes to help create eyelids. So I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so once I have some wool over the eyes, cut a little bit out like this and then more here too and then push it around the eye kind of creates like a little eyelid I think it's a really cute effect and makes the dog look a little more realistic And I'll probably do that a couple of times, but I feel like it helps a lot. So cute. Keep the black in between a little bit. Okay, so I think his nose is a little bit pointier than this, but we can work on all those kind of details later. I just wanted to get the core wall covered so we can start adding fur and make it look more like a little Yorkie. Right now it looks like a monkey, not a Yorkie. 
So I want to do the legs and I'm going to try doing them a new way. So I want to do something I learned, which was so interesting. You have the legs. These are really light, so it'll be good for an ornament. We'll make them and then we'll put them on separate. So these are going to be the legs right here. And they are kind of this tan color. So let's first, maybe first we'll put some core wool on them just to thicken them up and then we'll wrap them with the tan wool. And this pipe cleaner is very, got some like teeth to it. So it's actually, the wool just kind of sticks to it. Although I will do a little of this just to make sure that it's going to stay. So and then this end, I don't need to worry about this part because it's going to go inside the dog. But this way I can kind of match the legs and I'm going to try this. For this, I want to try to find, we'll use this to start with, this more carded kind of wool to wrap. Okay, so um, I want to show you, I'm taking this carded tannish color and just pulling off little pieces of it and then making it into a long piece here like that. Just attach it to the core wool that I put around the pipe cleaner and then like this. Wrap it around. So we're covering up the core wool and then we're going to make like a little bit on the end which will be the paw where the paw will go. See? I think the key for me here is to wrap it kind of tightly so it looks like a little leg but we're also going to add fluff to it later so it looks like a Yorkie but for now I want it nice like this so that has a good base with this tan color So the part I can't figure out is whether, I think maybe I need to stick the legs on the body now. And then when we add the longer fur, that will be something I do all at once. So my idea. So I want, the legs are like about here, here. So I'm gonna take this and I'm actually gonna cut into him pretty deep so that there's a real solid base where the legs are supposed to go. See like this. I'm gonna stick that right in there. See? And there's the little legs. Then what you'll do is felt the back is closed. And in this case, I could take some of the black wool and felt that right over. But now, I was able to measure the legs, the, the length I wanted, and put them exactly where I wanted. Although, ironically, this one seems longer. I can pull it like that. See? Make them the same 
length and then kind of secure them in here well. It's going to sit like that, see? You can give them little elbows. They're kind of sitting up, I guess. And then it's just a matter of kind of felting them into place. Okay, so I'm going to work on adding felt all around this part here to really secure that in better. Okay, so I've decided that this part is too um, far away, like the See the little elbows are too far? So I think actually I'm gonna fill it in with some core wool first and then add more black over it just so I'm not wasting my black wool. I have so much core wool. So I'm gonna tack this on, like kind of tuck it around like this to really secure it in there. And then I was actually thinking to do like this and wrap it around a bunch of times like this. You know, like to give the little legs some kind of something that they're being secured to. I need more on this side. So once I have all of the, the legs like more firmly secured in here, I think I'm going to start on the back legs and do the same thing and then worry about, you know, the fur and getting the look correct. Okay, I'm going to keep working on this, but I think that's getting better. See how it's thicker? It's getting more secure. Okay, I'm going to figure out the back legs now. So. I just have this size pipe cleaner. I'm gonna fold it in half so I can see exactly half, like, you know. And I wonder, now looking at it, is it actually too short to represent back legs? Mm, maybe, no, actually I don't think so. I think maybe no, not at all. Hmm, is that the right way to do back legs? Cause you'd think that you need like the hip, right? Like this, right? Little back legs, like this. Oh, that's not the worst idea. Ooh, ooh. Okay, what if we did this? And then he's sitting like that. <gasps> that's a good idea. I like that. It's my little back legs. Okay, so I'm going to wrap them in the same way I did the front legs, and then I'll, I'll videotape when I try to put them in. We'll see how we can do it. So I did the back legs, just kind of covered them up with core wool and also some tan so that there's a little something to attach the fluff to later. Now, my idea is if I put them in like this here, I think. So if we cut a little cut here, stick those guys in, stick the legs in, and then I'm going to have to, I wonder I didn't put them in, I don't think I put them in deep enough, I think that hole needs to be deeper, okay, See how this works. Really hoping this does. Okay, stick it in there like that. Hmm. Okay, before I go too far, let's just kind of get a sense here of what's happening. So I'm going to twist this this way, and twist this one this way, and then the legs would go like that, right? He's sitting up. Kind of like this. I 
feel like that's working. Okay, well, I need now to really secure these guys in. So I think what I'll do is quite similar to what I was doing before and add more wool around here. Try to get that nice and secure in there. Might do a tail the same way too, now that I'm thinking about it, because we're gonna need to add a little tail. Depends on what the tail looks like. Okay, so let me secure these and I'll come back to you. So I actually made the hips bigger so that the this part of his foot is shorter. And now I'm just gonna, because that part's gonna be black, I'm just gonna stuff it all full of black wool in here all around just to secure it and also to keep it, um, to be more uh, accurate in terms of the color. So like this, so we're making a little hip and securing it at the same time. This is my idea. will be all black and the front part will be brown. Okay, I'm going to keep doing this and then when it's done, I will show you. Um, okay, I think with the Yorkie, this video is just getting long enough, so I'm going to say this is part one and there'll be a part two where we'll put on the ears and put on the fur and finish the Yorkie up. So thank you so much for being here and I hope you come back for part two. Mm -hmm.